Today I'm going to be teaching you all how to enter the brand new Dark Aether Rift, allowing you to collect schematics for the Mags of Holding, which allows you to not have to reload anymore, the VR11K schematic, and then also the schematic for the Bloodburner bike, which allows you to spawn in a bike whenever you go into any games. Brand new schematics, brand new Easter egg. Let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing you need to do is obviously select the mission from the main menu before you load into the game. Make sure you do this so the portal actually spawns on the map. It is going to be here in tier three and you need to basically just get a little bit set up for this. It's only gonna be tier two zombies inside, but we have a couple different tasks inside that you need to do quickly and then also complete the mission so that you don't run out of time and die to the storm. So get a little bit set up. I would say tier three pack a punch is more than enough here. Get some perks and then enter into the portal. So upon entering the Dark Aether Rift, you're essentially going to have to collect three items before completing the mission. The first of which is right here on the ship, very, very close by to the spawn. You're going to activate this little pedestal. It's going to spawn an insta-kill, and then you need to get melee kills around here. It's only going to count melee kills toward the soul box. It's very, very easy. It only takes just a few of them. And once you complete that, you're going to get some boxing gloves here that are purple rarity. We're going to be upgrading these later, but that is for a step in the next game. So the next item we're gonna be getting is the purple rarity practice target. It is going to be found at this location on the map. You're just gonna go ahead and fly over and activate this pedestal once again. Now for this one, only headshot kills are gonna count for the soul box. Again, it's super, super easy. These fill up very, very fast. And once completed with this, you are going to be rewarded with that purple target. So the last one we need to pick up is out here in the middle of the dark ether storm here. And then you're going to look for a nice little circle outcropping of all of these little dark ether things. And in the middle is the final pedestal. You're going to activate this and then look at what color the soul box ring around it is. If it is red and it is fiery, that means you first have to use the fire alternate ammo type. So go up to the middle pedestal. There will be a free drop of each alternate ammo type. Now keep in mind, on these only drop once. Like you go up, you hold F, it will drop it onto the ground. You can put it onto your gun from the ground, but it will only drop once so make sure you just do one at a time take your time with it and once you get enough kills with the fire one it'll change to electric you go back to the middle thing you look for dead wire get it to pop out put that on your gun and then continue on if you somehow manage to lose an alternate ammo type or like you need brain rot but there's no brain rot on the ground you can't figure out how to get it out of the pedestal you can always run far away from this thing and give it some time it'll reset it'll say you failed this little contract and then you can head back and activate it again but again super easy just fill up the alternate ammo type souls until it finishes and you will get the final piece. So once you collect all three of these items, the next thing you need to do is simply just beat the mission and kill the final boss, grab the thing from the reward portal and exfil. Just follow the mission markers, kill the final boss, In the final portal will be an actual gold item. So this one is already pre-upgraded for us. We're going to be upgrading the next three items in the next game. So once you exfil with all of these items, you need to keep them in your backpack, load into the next game, as well as taking all of the stuff you can, because this next part is going to be pretty darn difficult. It's going to be the equivalent of doing like a tier four zone. So you're going to need tier three pack much. You're going to need at least a purple or gold rarity on your guns. Lots of perks, self reses, the whole nine yards. Get all set up for this because it's going to be pretty darn difficult. So once you're in the new game and you're starting to get set up, you're going to need to visit three different locations around the map to upgrade your items rarity from purple to gold in order to to progress the easter egg the first of which is in the bottom middle of the map this is going to be the boxing gloves and essentially you just enter the boxing rink at this location offer your item in the middle and you're going to go over to the side and punch these three punching bags once you do that a zombie will spawn in the middle of the ring hop in and melee it to death and it will drop the charge golden version of the boxing gloves which is the first item so the second upgrade location is in the bottom right of the map. This is going to be at the shooting range next to this base near the manor. You're going to head to this location, offer your item, and a bunch of glowing targets are going to pop up. You simply just need to shoot all of them. Some of them will spawn like behind walls a little bit out of the way, but once you get the sight line on them, they're very easy to see because they glow super, super brightly, but just simply shoot each and every one of those. You will hear a completion noise, and you will go back over and get the charged version of this golden target. So the third and final one is up at the graveyard in the top right of the map. And once you get here, you're gonna activate this little mirror grave right here. And once you do, a zombie will spawn glowing with a certain element. Now you're gonna look for this nice little hut close by, and this hut is going to drop you free ammo upgrades for each one of the different ammo types that correspond to the zombie. So you essentially just need to look at it, whatever ammo type most closely matches the zombie you're looking at, grab that ammo type, kill it with that, and it's going to drop the upgraded version of the mirror. So once you have all four golden upgraded items, we are going to 
go open the portal now. So essentially get set up, head to the tier three zone and offer each one of the corresponding items to the corresponding pedestal. If done correctly, there will be a gigantic portal that spawns. It'll say dark ether rift unlock and an HVT will come out. Now this HVT is going to hundred percent of the time drop you a sigil, which is going to allow you to enter into this thing. So now we are ready to enter into the new dark ether zone. And this is going to be the first step into unlocking each one of these schematics. So once you enter this Dark Aether Rift, you're gonna be completing three different contracts around the map. And the first one is basically directly behind where you spawn. So you're gonna head into this warehouse, up on the second floor, find this bunny, and this is gonna activate an HVT contract, which essentially has three different spawns. You can get each one of the HVTs. I got Mega Abomination in my first game. I got Mimic in my second game. It's basically random which one you get in the location. Very, very easy to do though. Just head to the location that tells you, kill it as fast as possible, and you will get the rewards. The second bunny is found at this location on top of the building with the billboards at the very, very top, making it very easy to fly to the next location. This one is going to be just an outlast contract where you have to go there, hold out. You don't even have to kill any zombies, just survive the entire time. You're gonna complete that. It'll give you some more rewards. The third and final contract will be up at the very tippy tippy top of the mall. There's lots of different ways to climb up. So we'll just use whatever way makes most sense for you. Once at the top, it'll start everyone's favorite contract, the ether extractors, where you have a limited amount of time to blow these things up. Again, I recommend Casimir devices for this. I recommend monkey bombs, using an energy mine, just having your friends protect you. Whatever you can do to stay alive, you need to blow up all three of these and it will give you your final reward rift. Once you've completed all three contracts, hopefully you got an Elder Sigil because this is what we're gonna need to do this again on the essentially hard mode, very, very limited time mode. But feel free to explore as much as possible. Turn on the 115 song Easter Egg. They added a couple of new side Easter eggs to this area. But once you're done, exfil you can do from any of the sites or just on this hill that I like to use because it's up overlooking everything. Hit that exfil and then you're gonna go into the next game. Now, once you have exfilled from this brand new Dark Aether Rift on a normal sigil, you now have the ability to put in Elder Sigils. And how do you get these? You get them from doing the contracts of the normal sigil. So you might already have one in your inventory at this point if you completed all three contracts. But if you did not get lucky enough to have an Elder Sigil to load into the next game to do this with, all you need to do is just go back into do it more normal sigils. And if you don't have any more of those, complete tier three contracts and it's a possible thing that those loot pools can drop just getting a sigil from there. So keep on going, keep on grinding until you get that elder sigil and once you do that you essentially just enter in and do the same contracts you have half the time and there are a couple more boss zombies it's a little bit more difficult and you're on much more of a time crunch so you need to be very efficient and like practiced up on normal sigils i was able to complete it solo on my first try as you can see i got the vr11 schematic from the very first portal but unlike the very first elder sigils that came out like the old dark ether rift that came with season one those were guaranteed that you just had to complete them once and you got the schematics on the new one it is not a guarantee. So you might have to do it multiple times to get all of the schematics and the everything unlocked and extract with everything. On my first one, all I got was the VR11 schematic. I did not get the mags of holding or blood burner bike schematic, but obviously all of those are in the loot pool. Just keep coming back here as much as you can until you have unlocked everything. If you guys have any questions or just would like to find some teammates, head down to the comments. Anybody who's open to play, definitely let people know the times you're available to play as well as your PSN, your Battle.net, your Xbox Gamer Tag, whatever you wanna leave down there, add it down there and you guys can all party up from the comments of this video. It makes it much easier to do it with multiple people and it's obviously a lot more fun. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.